Hi, what's up? This is Usman here. Today I'm going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy A12 after using it for the last 12 days. So yes, it's the review of the Galaxy A12. The Galaxy A12 is the latest device which is added in the Galaxy entry-level smartphones lineup. And maybe you are thinking to buy this device. That's why you are watching this video. So first, if I talk about price, it comes with $182 price tag. And I have variant of 4GB RAM with 64GB of the storage. With this device, you will get a charging adapter and the hands-free out of the box. But you will get no protection cover with the Galaxy A12. So you will need to purchase the protection separately. And if we look at design, the back of the device is completely plastic along with its sides. Back design is divided into two sections. First section which is covering whole body have lines on it, which we can easily feel when we rub our hand on it and gives you a different feeling of holding a phone in the hand. The next section which is at the end of the body is plain white plastic with the branding of the Samsung. And on the right side of the phone there are volume rockers and the power button. Power button also operates as fingerprint sensor. If I talk about fingerprint sensor, it's working fine and accurately, unlocking at first attempt at good speed. And the left side have no buttons but houses a SIM card tray on the top of the side, which can hold two SIM cards and one external SD macro card at the same time, so you can enjoy dual SIM along with external storage. And on the bottom of the phone, there is headphone jack along with USB-C port, mic and the primary speaker. And the top of the phone is also clean except for a tiny hole which is sound cancellation microphone. And on the front there is 6.5 inch 720p IPS display with 264 ppi density, providing good display, but not as much good as we see on the AMOLED display. Galaxy A12 providing good brightness by which we can easily use our phone outside in the daytime. And you will get V-shaped selfie camera instead of the punch hole that we got on the Samsung Galaxy A11 which is 8 megapixel providing 1080p at 30 fps. But seriously, I was expecting punch hole camera on the Galaxy A12 instead of the V-shaped. I don't know what Samsung doing. If we talk about face recognition system, that is also really fast. We just need to press the power button and it recognizes face at a good speed. And now let's discuss the performance. Galaxy A12 comes with the Helio P35. I have 4GB variant, but you can also go for the 6GB. Galaxy A12 performance is good, but not really too much impressive. I saw it takes time to load the result when we search for the contacts, which I don't like. It should provide search results quickly without any delay. Multitasking is fine, but there is a little bit lagging while jumping from one app to another. But overall, in the entry-level budget, it's working fine in my daily use. From watching YouTube videos, using Instagram and Facebook, browsing web to playing games like PUBG, and yes, I created a separate video of testing PUBG on the Galaxy A12. If you want to watch that video, link will be available in the iCard or in the description of this video. I played PUBG on the balanced graphic at the high frame rate. Galaxy A12 runs the PUBG smoothly without any lagging issues. I also played Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9. Both worked fine, but there was a little bit lagging while playing the Asphalt 9. And now let's jump to the camera of the Galaxy A12. Galaxy A12 have quad camera at the back, arranged in square box, with having 48 megapixel main camera along with 5 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel depth, and the 2 megapixel macro. And there is flash under the camera bump. And the front camera is 8 megapixel, which also provides us option of the wide angle if we want to fit someone else in our selfie. Galaxy A12 provides decent quality photos in its budget, but I think Galaxy A12 also a little bit oversaturating colors sometime. Galaxy A12 provides us option of 1080p at 30fps for the videos. And while recording the videos, I saw Galaxy A12 focusing the object at good speed, which is really good in this budget. There's no night mode on the Galaxy A12, but we have the option of the macro. I honestly not impressed by the macro, it is not providing good quality details and creating noise in the photos. And if I talk about battery, Galaxy A12 comes with a huge 5000mAh battery with 15W fast charging, which is really good in this budget. The Galaxy A12 takes around about 2 hours to complete its 100% charging and according to the battery setting, we can use 5000mAh battery for the 2 days. Here you can see, I use YouTube for 1 hour and it consumed only 8.1% battery. And same for the WhatsApp, for 1 hour usage, Galaxy A12 consumed 9.9% battery. So 5000mAh battery is really good for 1 and a half day use. And here is the speaker test.
Mobile and S Fall 9 on the latest Samsung Galaxy A12. So this is the gaming test of the Galaxy A12. So let's jump to the table. Galaxy A12 have really loud speaker. I'm really satisfied with its loud sound. Plus the Galaxy A12 comes with the Android 10 with One UI 2.5 at top. In my opinion, Galaxy A12 is a good device in entry level phone. If you want to purchase an entry level phone for the photos, then the Galaxy A12 will not be a bad choice. Back design is different and unique. Keep in mind there will be some durability issues, so make sure to purchase a protection cover as soon as possible. So that was the review of the Galaxy A12. If you found it helpful then make sure to like the video and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.